refer to himself as the gatekeeper, and I feel like that's like a decent. He does place really high, and he is really good. But like at the same time, if you want to be considered good at this game, you do. You have to be able to beat Melon, man. Absolutely, yeah. Melon is is like the decider of All right. whether you go and come to game one. Of we the rest have, or you are. Next. Yeah, we got Seiko versus Caillou right now. Seiko with the Joker. Kai is showing the wolf. It's probably a match he doesn't like to play with uh, with Inkling. Arsene uh, coming out. <laughs> already out from that percent. Oh my god, that man tried to end his life right then and there. Can I get caught beside me though? Gonna rack on this damage. When Big Brother comes out, that's when you know it's time to play. Oh, but he's probably not gonna get the kill off of this Arsene, which is gonna be devastating. Wow, oh, he's gonna lose the first stock like that. Just not able to get it back. Yeah, it's not able to get back to the stage. Kraken now only 61% on this first stock for Kai. Kai's definitely gonna be looking to rack up this extra credit. Not trying to overextend or nothing. He's got no reason to really go for a kill. Just going to really rack up that damage. Save damage and not really overextending on anything. Just trying to get that up there. Yeah, the whole seems to be playing pretty safe, getting some good strings and then back it up. Alright, Seiko got Arsen back again, open the... Ooh, great back air from Kai. Not able to two-frame with the forward tilt, but gonna get the forward smash. What a great forward smash. Up two stocks right now. He's already getting more extra credit. Yeah, bracking up that extra credit. Not even at 100% yet on this first stock. Dropping with the Nair. Now he's Ooh, at 101. I mean, he was at 91. There was no <laughs> doctor <laughs> seen it. Oh! oh. Unfortunate. Yeah, he was just a little too far back. Wasn't able to get back with the side B. Shake it off, and you see him hang, hanging out on the Angel Plat, just trying to ride out the uh, Arsene. Not trying to fight Big Brother right now. Anytime that you can avoid him, the bet, the bet, you know. Yeah, sure. All right, all right. A great, we'll super convincing game one. Match. Yeah, super convincing game one for uh, for. Um, Guys, is my commentating too distracting during your set? I guess it's not. I mean, he didn't respond. I mean, I guess it tells me they're not really listening. I mean, even when I was sitting right here behind you guys, it was difficult to hear you. Good. Good. Once we got this microphone, I feel like I was way more aware of my volume. Yeah. Since I could just talk directly into the mic, I don't need to be like. <laughs> you don't have to be yelling. Alright, game two. We have brought out the Inkling. Alright, he okay, okay. won game one, but he wants to try his different character. This is the character that I know a lot of people have been saying is like Caillou's true main. I feel like with the play style that Caillou has been playing with, uh, even like with the wolf, it matches the Inkling way more. Yeah. Uh, so we're actually seeing some good consistency coming from the Inkling. He just came back so strong this season with the now Inkling Wolf duo that I think is super strong. A lot of people sleep on Inkling. Well, the meta has definitely changed uh, in that Inkling is not nearly as good. Um, I think a lot of the major changes to Inkling is just that you've got to be way more precise when you play Inkling. You are not going to get free kill confirms like you were in 2019 Smash, but that doesn't take away from how good this character is. You just have to be a little, a little more precise. You just have to play a little cleaner. It's like with ZSS. You're not going to be near flip kicking anyone at top level anymore, you know? No, no. So, this, this is just the character that you that tries up. Now now you have to try a little harder. Alright, trying for those back airs. That dash is crazy. Ooh, great forward smash. Catching that movement there. Topped off real quick. Yeah, you, yeah, you see a lot in uh, in this matchup. Just like Kai's got a read of his opponent's move. He has a good idea of what Seiko's trying to go for. He's able to call out a lot of that movement. We saw him do it with the forward smash with Wolf in the last game and a forward smash with Inkling in this game. It's just clean, clean, clean stuff. He just knows where to call it out. Yeah, for sure. I can hardly hear you. See, that's exactly what I was just talking about. Yep. Yeah. It's just saying I wonder if I clip this to my thingy. Yeah, no. No, that's no, no. I kinda like it this close to my face anyway. It's 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 a different experience for sure. I just want a chair so I can arm rest, because when I arm rest on this thing it moves the whole 
top. I mean, you are in a chair. Yeah, but I can't lean back because the cord on my. You headphones. need two chairs, bro. <laughs> Literally, yeah. I just need another chair over here. I can fucking rest my arm on. Oh, right. Well, we have a match. So. Oh, yeah, the match. So we see he's up a stock right now. Full uh, stock. Yeah, full stock. 33 to 42% with the uh, one stock difference. Wow, the gun's coming out right now. We're trying to attack on that damage. I know a lot of the time people are saying what differentiates Leo's joke from everyone else's is just that gun game he's got. Ooh, oh, respecting each other a little bit. Both hiding yeah, shield, don't want to really do anything. Both playing a lot, a lot more careful right mm -hmm. now. Forto not gonna connect. Just that dash on Igni is so good. The way you could just go in and out a lot of times because you're also low profile. You're not just running away. You're also diving down into the, the, the ground. Yeah. So you are low profiling all the time. Ooh, great yeah, Forest spacing. Smash will take it. Oh, two stock. Very, very convincing 2-0 for, uh, for Caillou. 